The San Jose Giants are apologizing for a failed PR stunt. KPX 5's Kit Doe with the team's tweet and the backlash. By all accounts, this year's Japanese Heritage Night with the San Jose Giants was a success. They had taiko drummers and calligraphy lessons, the works. But shortly afterward came this tweet of three men on the field dressed in traditional Japanese robes. The man on the left was doing martial arts kicks, the man in the middle was bowing with his palms together, and the one on the right was fanning himself. The animated looping video was tweeted two weeks ago, but was deleted this morning amid a flurry of backlash. Whoa, San Jose Giants, you may want to rethink this, like, immediately. This is super racist and tacky. Casual Asian racism is still racism. The San Jose Giants need to correct this immediately. I'll make these mistakes over and over again. It's just something that we just have to keep fighting. Tom Oshidari is the co-president of the Japanese American Citizens League San Jose chapter. The JACL is the oldest and largest Asian American civil rights organization whose work nowadays involves reminding people of the horrors of Japanese internment camps. Oshidari says the tweet from the San Jose Giants perpetuates old stereotypes. If somebody's offended, you offended them, you know. You can't just pass it off and say, oh, I didn't mean, I, I didn't know, you know, just give me a break. The team declined an on-camera interview, but tweeted an apology this morning that says in part, unfortunately, our message on social media was tone deaf, and we deeply apologize to those we have offended, and apologize that our content released on social media did not represent the intention and spirit of the event. Does it change your opinion at all about the team? No, I don't think so. I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's a mistake, a minor mistake. Just hopefully they'll do better going forward. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.